box and we're going to open it. Let's see what's it's, it. Who is it from? From Joyce? Joyce Sue. Sue. Our she's, friend from Instagram. Yeah, she's an Instagram. We're going to review this honestly. Yeah. Dinosaur eggs. We're gonna see if it's dusty or not. But we are ready, right? Here's the, here's the cards. We're ready with water. Here's the cards, though. Okay. Yeah. okay. Let's open the cards on that one. Yeah, it's just like chalk. It's even. like a dinosaur yeah. egg. Yeah? Dinosaur egg. It's fun. Okay. Yes, it's so fun. Yeah, this is my egg. Whoa. This is my egg. This is your egg, okay? Yes, we do go to this. So the one that they have looks very sturdy. Okay, and then you can spray it. You can spray it or dump or put it in water. So you see a dinosaur already coming out. Look at this! Whoa! Look at that! It's it weird. bubbles. Yes, it fizzles. Yeah, it fizzles.
with the Stegosaurus. Triceratops. This is the Triceratops. Okay, found the mom. Mommy Triceratops. The Ankylosaurus. This dinosaur was covered in thick, bony plates that helped keep it safe from other dinosaurs. Yeah. Even though it has, it was super tough, Ankylosaurus ate only plants. Oh, it's a plant eater. Yeah, it's but a herbivore. Herbivore dinosaur. Yeah, and they eat both like meal and Omnivore. Very good. And then if they only eat meat, what are they called? If they only meat, uh, eat meat, what are they called? They are called carnivore. Carnivore. What dinosaur do you know that's a carnivore? Yeah, 
scientists believe the 8,000 pound animal used the sail to protect itself from overheating in warm climates. It's a plant eater. So smart, my paleontologist. Mark 
Ciao. Weighed about 100 pounds and only 3 feet tall. Almost it's a small one. About the same size as a dog. Scientists aren't sure why Stegosaurus had a thick dome skull. It may have Super used it for fighting. They're planting fruit. Whoa. Okay, Stegosaurus, you found your mom.
paleontologists can tell what kind of this. dinosaur. Whoa. See, look. See, what this is it called? Kind of head. Corythosaurus. See, it has the same thing, see? Mm, yeah, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a parallelosaurus, but instead it's not like a long, see, doing the difference, see the difference? Mm -hmm. See, this one is like a bumpy thing, and this one, instead it's like this. It's long, it's not going to be a You are a Corythosaurus like Paras, Paras Olaplarda. This oh dinosaur was duck built and used to press up its head to create a low noise. Scientists think it may have sounded like a trombone. This is a, a Apatosaurus. This dinosaur was one of the largest land animals that have lived. An adult Apatosaurus could weigh up to 45 tons. That's as much as five adult elephants. Yes, we're gonna organize it. Yeah, we're organizing it before we give them a full bath. Can you read it one at one by one? So this is a... No, I'm gonna do this. I don't know how to really say Thesaurus. it. Yeah, but that's how I say it. Sorry if I pronounce mm -hmm. it. Um, okay. Yeah, comment down below how to say it because I don't know how to say it. It's Okay. Yeah, it sounds like, like this Stegosaurus, like this kind of Stegosaurus. Comment down below. Ah, okay, that's yeah. right. Yeah, because it's a That's true. Because see, it's like the There's Stegosaurus and Stegosaurus. Stegosaurus. Okay. Yeah, it's kind of Alright. Yeah, that's the, the... Oh, yeah, I guess. What's this? The other one is the Apatosaurus. Okay, and then... Apatosaurus. Yeah. It's from the 
Sort of sort of if you look.